All right, for me, uh, I don't like I don't like the water. You don't see me in too often, so uh, <laughs> not that I'm afraid of it. I just think it's cold. <laughs> All right, you so can swim, right? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. We're down here on the banks of Kentucky Lake. This is the place that I've done a lot of fishing, but. The type of fishing we're doing today is brand new to me. We're gonna be jumping in the water and, and hopefully grabbing some big flathead catfish by hand. Some people call it hogging and some <laughs> people call it tickling and some call it hand fishing, but it, it's all the same thing. So I believe I believe he's sticking his foot in there and he's locating that hole and he's kind of positioning himself and getting ready, getting a good, good lung full of air and diving down and literally going all the way to his feet and then running his hand up in that hole. I'm sure that people that you've told you you'd like to go out and noodle or, or hand grab catfish, they're probably like, oh my God, aren't you scared? Oh, it's a, it's a defining <laughs> characteristic. I mean, you tell people you catfish noodle and, and it's one of the things they always remember about you and they always ask. And yeah, I mean, that's that's one of the appeals of it. You've been down there a while. Oh, yeah. oh there he is, there, there he is. <laughs> He's got it. What little you, guy. What do you got there? Just a little channel cat. You can see where they get skinned up under those rocks and things. Oh yeah, that's the way to get started. You're just gonna turn him loose? And yeah, just turn him loose and find his way right on back down. Yeah, we can go find something bigger. I've been noodling catfish, I guess 16 years. Um, as a matter of fact, my very first assignment as an outdoor rider was to go down to Mississippi and uh, and try to noodle a catfish and write a story <laughs> about it. Those guys, they were pretty intense, pretty serious about it, but I learned how to do it. I caught a nice flathead and I was like, man, this is cool. I like big catfish, I always have. I've always been intrigued by them. And I, you know, I grew up, catching snakes and frogs and lizards and like a lot of country kids do. And I just like being outside doing that sort of thing. So we've been doing it about 15 years now and kind of a crew of family and, and buddies. And we, we just, we have a great time. We go every summer. Uh, oh yeah, I feel him. I, I feel the pad. Get ready. There you go. <laughs> there he is. Kentucky actually has a season. It opens June 1st. It really gets going when the water temperature hits about 80 degrees. That's when the flatheads kind of start moving up into the holes and, uh, and stays good for a few weeks there. And honestly, by about the middle of July, we're, we're skinned up and worn out and ready to hang it up for the year anyway. <laughs> Check his gills and be sure nothing's bleeding and it's not. So fish is in good shape? He's in good shape. He got a little skinned up there on the, on the rock. But... That's kind of part of it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can see on their back a lot of healed stuff. Yeah. yeah. And even his dorsal fin, he's, he's wallowed that down, you know, where he's gotten up under there and, and dug, you know, so. I tell you what, flathead catfish though are such... Oh, they're, they're cool, aren't they? Look at that mouth. Look at that big old mouth and these little bitty eyes. They are a prehistoric looking fish. He'll yeah, find his way right back in there. He'll find his way right back in there, about guarantee. You catch him in there tomorrow. So. <laughs> Well, we need to catch one about three times that size. So. Your wife actually enjoys doing this. She does, my wife and my son, Ants. We're an outdoors family. We hunt and fish for anything that's in season, year round. So we, we've been going out and doing this for a long time. Wouldn't, wouldn't have it any other way. So Ants is getting up here. This is a really shallow spot, which is absolutely perfect for a first timer or a young fella like this. Uh oh, <laughs> he's in there, yep. He's in there. All right, you gotta get down in the water, belly down. There you go. Remember, get your, get your face in the water. Let's see my arms down in the hole. He's been going out here with us since two years old. You know, we've been putting him in the boat and, and taking him along. And it's a catfish. It might bite his hand, but it's not gonna. It's not gonna hurt him. He'll be okay. <laughs> he just came up and bit his hand. <laughs> he bite your hand. Uh -huh. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> Michelle and I have always hunted and fished together and we just decided when he was born we're just going to take him with us. Yeah. And uh, you know when he gets big enough to decide he doesn't want to go, <laughs> that's fine. Go. But he sure likes it. He, he loves it. Good job. So what'd that feel like buddy? What'd that feel like doing that? That was pretty fun. Pretty fun? Did you feel the fish bite your hand? Yeah. He bit you one time, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Did it scare you a little bit? No? Mm -hmm. You're not scared of anything, You've done are you? This couple times before. <laughs> we release 99 percent of the catfish we catch doing this, and we almost always have. To. <laughs> and hey, we we like to catch big catfish too, so yeah. we have an interest in not killing them. You know, it's a misconception that noodlers are going out there and cleaning everything they catch. They're sport fishermen, just like everybody else. A lot of people sink boxes for, for catfish noodling or drums, just like sinking structure for crappie, but it's, you know, it's for a single catfish. First time I've ever tried this. So uh, <laughs> we're here at this box and I got my feet right in the opening. 
where I'm gonna go down and stick my arm in there and try to feel around and see if there's anything in there. What's the biggest thing you have to really be, watch out for? Everybody asks about the beaver, snakes, and turtles. <laughs> Every time. If I take somebody new, that's the first thing they ask. I mean, you see turtles everywhere. You see some snakes on the bank and stuff. But so far as a turtle backing up in the holes, I mean, they, these holes that we're checking, they're, they're well underwater. They're under rocks and things. Didn't feel anything? No, nope, didn't feel anything. Sweep that stick around in there. A turtle has to breathe, and it's not a place that a turtle is going to back up into. Do you use the hook in or the other Yeah, end? the hook in. The thing that we stress, like we always go in groups, we never have somebody dive alone. I mean, the, the biggest real danger is obviously drowning. There's always the chance that you're going to get stuck underwater. I don't feel anything. Nobody home. So we always have somebody right there next to us when we dive. And most of the holes that we check, you can you can stand up. But there are a few that are over your head, and those you need to, you need to be particularly careful. A lot of what we check, honestly, are holes that we found in the banks, under rocks. It's taken us 15 years of looking, and we look continuously every summer. We've kind of built a circuit of areas that we check. Some days, this one will have a fish in it, and that one won't, and vice versa, but it's it's uh, it's still fishing. Getting ready to check another hole. This is completely different than the last one. It's not actually a man-made box. It's up under the bank, and it's got some concrete in and around it. So we're gonna go see what they've got. They said this hole has been known to hold some pretty good size fish. There, so. You already got one? Yeah, she gets real quiet. <laughs> I tell you what, this is this is something that you probably wouldn't want to do by yourself for safety concerns, but it also takes some teamwork sometimes to manipulate these fish in the best way to get them out. That's what we're seeing right here. But if you come to the left, I gotta push him back in. Yeah. Is he a mean little sucker, Mama? Yes, he is, baby. He's a bite in the fur right of my... Oh! <laughs> 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 He's a pretty good channel cat, so... <laughs> yeah, he was biting, biting, but his, his little mouth wasn't big enough for my whole hand. <laughs> Nobody home? Nothing Man. I feel. But I, I, I heard something. Did one of you guys? I had a stick under here. Oh, it might have been raking or something. You want to try this one? or? Yeah, I'll, I'll double check it. The other day there was a fish that kind of laid over to the right and he was kind of hard to, kind of hard to find. Be sure. It's just hard to get a feel for what you're feeling for. Uh, with oh, yeah. The, oh yeah. Fish, when you go in, take that stick and turn it to the right. Okay. You it's hit the a, stick? It's a flathead. So, once I locate where he's at with the stick, then I gotta manipulate him. Yeah, manipulate yeah, you'll kinda him. have to manipulate him a little bit, and you might, he'll, he'll probably bite that stick, and you might be able to just kinda pull him, and as you do, swing him out, and I would have your left hand in there ready to get him. All right. But you'll you'll know it if he gets on that stick. But yeah, go in there and go straight right. Straight right, yep. all right. Oh, I heard it, I heard him thump. Yeah. <laughs> We heard all that. <laughs> He's got the stick. <laughs> oh, did he take it away from you? No, I'll get it right there at the mouth. I mean, we didn't even have a patent on that stick. <laughs> <laughs> He's on that stick. He should have him. Uh -oh. Hold him. What do we got? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had him there for a few minutes. I had him, got him in, and got my hand under there. <laughs> oh man! Well, I turned him loose. Obviously, yeah, we got, got to see him. So, <laughs> nice got work. him up out of there. <laughs> so wait a minute, what we got here? If we slow that video down, you'll be able to tell that I actually did have a catfish in my hand for a second. I got it out, and, and uh, you, you guys were told me to keep it close to my body. Well, when I went to stand up, I was trying to show it to the camera. Yeah. And I had it out about this far away and it just got loose. Oh yeah, but we all saw it and it's on tape. So. We were gonna turn it, <laughs> we were gonna turn it loose anyway. But that was pretty awesome. Yeah, that's pretty that cool. Was pretty, that was awesome. pretty cool. <laughs> You know, a 50 pound flathead is a handful. They can torque fingers and twist wrists. You can't just grab them by the jaw and let their tail go in open water because they're going to beat you up pretty quick. It's so far down that the pressure builds. Try and hold your breath when you get down there. Mm. Like it takes me a little while to 
I just can't stay down there long on this hole. You've got to respect the fish like oh, that. Yeah. But if you hold them the right way, if you can kind of get their head up close to your body and get their tail under control, and that's another reason why we dive in pairs a lot. If we've got a big fish, there's no shame in having a buddy grab his tail so he doesn't beat you to death. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. <laughs> a tag on him, too. <laughs> kind of for my own benefit of knowledge, you know, we've started tagging some of the fish, you know, with a zip tie and the dorsal fin or something, just to see. And we've had fish that we've caught three weekends in a row. Catch them, take a picture of them, let them go, and they go right back in there. <laughs> what, uh, what do you, now, what do you think that approximately pounded to this fish? My guess would be, Ants, what's this fish weigh? I'm about, let me look at it. About 11 pounds. 11 pounds, <laughs> that ain't no bigger than that. Between that and, and catching a big flathead on a live bluegill that might swallow that hook, so far as that individual fish, this is not hurting him as much. It's one of those things that you do it with knowledge and respect to the resource. Yeah. This fish yeah, got just a couple little bitty bitty spots on it, but it's, all in all, it's in great yeah. shape. Big old fat belly on it. You really can't understand the feeling of getting in there and feeling that fish strike until you actually use your hand for a lure. Right, exactly. We've taken a lot of new people and that's, that's part of the fun. Like we like to take people. Just almost universally, it's not what they expect. Yeah. It's, it's not as scary, I guess, yeah. as people think it's gonna be. But also people are pretty surprised at how powerful those fish are. Oh yeah. There you go. Awesome. Finally. <laughs> Finally got him to hit. It's amazing to me how you, you kind of work in groups and as a family and as teams. It's a team sport. And it's more fun with a lot of people out oh, here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you think about that? Pretty fish, huh? Mm -hmm. I like his belly. I know. Aren't they pretty? It looks like a little male. I think you're probably right. <laughs> hey, I'm going to keep an eye out for some of your articles and keep up with what you're doing. And uh, I'm sure you and I will find some more trouble. For sure. Yeah, 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 I think it'd be a good time. Well, I enjoyed it, buddy. A lot so, of fun. Yeah, a lot of fun.